Um, I frequently see people who can get caught in this trap of, um, I guess, feeling fear or guilt or um, anything else about having any negative emotions um, because they may be under the misconception that when you're manifesting, you can only feel the one emotion. You need to be in the state of having it at all the t at all times. And while Yes, absolutely. Being in vibrational alignment, so in assumption that it's yours, um, brings it like it. you manifest a lot faster when you're in a higher vibration. But repressing your emotions is not the way to do that. You are better off to feel the emotion, see it, accept it, see it, but don't let it drive the bus. Don't. Don't let it um, determine um, the narrative in your head. Notice when the narrative in your head um, is following the emotion that you're having. And then, so you want to see it, you want to accept it because resisting it is resisting your resistance. Um, and that's just keeps you doubly stuck. You are in this human physical form. It is very normal for you to have an emotional experience. Um, and so there is often this misconception like, oh, if I feel this anger, um, then I'm going to push my, my creation away. And that is actually not true. You should learn to feel your emotions. Um, and the key is not to let whatever is behind them drive the bus. You are in charge. And awareness is one of the most powerful tools of creation that you have um, in your arsenal. This is why being really present as much as possible um, really heightens your awareness and um, then you are not only able to recognize what vibration you are in and is it in alignment but you're able to notice those those um, negative narratives those are often a protector part and so by just acknowledging it and giving it the acceptance that um, that part of you needs rather than just like pushing it away, um, you, you become more powerful. You release yourself um, and in doing so, you're able to really um, shift your mindset around something because um, resisting your resistance um, often like it amplifies. So you don't want, it's, the key is not to get rid of it. Um, language is really inadequate uh, often to relay manifesting concepts. And so rather than, um, like when we clear our blocks, you're truly integrating it. You're, you're noticing it, you're accepting it, and you're allowing it to be there and then you're letting go of the story because often the emotion will just move through you very quickly and it's the story that keeps it in play. Um, the power of creation comes from not just thinking, but thinking and feeling. Feeling. And so if you can feel an emotion, let it be there, let it pass through, not give it any meaning. You're going to have a lot more power than if you notice the emotion and you, you push it away because that's literally like just pushing a beach ball under the water. The minute you let go, it pops back up. Um, so, and that's the energy that drives the thinking. Uh, 
Um, and so the power is in being able to be with the sensations and learning not to connect the story to them. Your emotions serve a purpose. When you truly assume something is yours, you're able to experience your entire range of emotions and you don't make it mean whether or not you're able to create or not. And so really looking and recognizing the thought processes and the unconscious emotions that come up and you want to be able to be aware of the unconscious emotions and the meanings that are connected to them. Um, and just when they come up, recognize that they do not mean anything unless you give them meaning. And so you want to be able to feel your full range of emotions because you cannot feel happiness unless you're willing to feel sadness. And so the more sadness you push away, the more you block yourself from your full expression of joy and happiness. And the true assumption of something is that I can feel whatever I'm feeling and I know at my core that it's mine. And so, until next time, live like you can't fail.